as you may recall, a while back, I showed off a Kickstarter project called the Idol Camp. Well, a few weeks ago, I got mine and I thought I'd unpack it and take a look. My laptop keyboard is all gum up from eating over it too much. I'm going to take it to Kwa Tiang Bay, Shenzhen's electronic district. They'll clean it out and fix it up for about $15 while I walk around and shoot some video. Let's go! I'm just warning you, I'm not a gamer girl. I've been at all the video games.
this is a small mall nearby Kwa Chiang Bay. Look at how beautiful it is. Today is a beautiful day. I'm just showing you how it looks like. This is the top floor of the building. And behind me, there are all the other buildings. Here is the uh, buildings that sell electronics and uh, some condo. Alright, now I'm on the floor floor. I'm going back to retreat my uh, laptop from Mr. Lee. He fixed uh, my keyboard. These days, uh, my subtitles are so slow because some of my key, uh, keys on my keyboard broke. And um, as I said, he's the expert. So after lunch and after the video game, I'm just going back and see how he, how, uh, if he has fixed it. I think he did. And the mall is still very empty. Other than some people that I think who works nearby, and then they come as a company. You know, how Chinese employees, they have lunch together and dinner together. Ah, yes. I'm kind of dizzy from all the dancing in the arcade. Monday, not so many people. It's just an ordinary mall, like a lot of malls in Shenzhen. If I came here, I used to come here with my friends after we shot from Hua Chang Bay. With the idol cam so far so good, I just need to take a look at the quality of the footage when I go back home. Oh, there is gelato in front of me, but I'm so full, I can't have any more food. And gelato usually in China is not that good. Yeah, we don't know how to make ice cream. So I'm walking back to Mr. Lee's booth, and it's pretty close, just straight forward. Four minutes by walking. Man, I used to ride my night bike scooter over here. Huh. Oh, see? A lot of the people in yellow shirt, they are the delivery guys. Uh, these days, without May to one, it's very hard to... Because I never want to go to the market or supermarket to get the groceries myself. So I always use the um, food delivery app. And there was a time that it's so hard to uh, for them to get orders or for me to send out orders because most of them went back to their hometown during the pandemic and the one who left like there are a couple of big food delivery companies in China. Hey, is it raining? What the hell? So I'm glad that made one's employees stay here because without them uh, honestly I'm too lazy oh man I'm getting out of breath because walking and talking I don't have such cardio I think I have to lunch more stores are open now Hey, 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 
Okay, here are my thoughts. The idle cam is not as portable as my DJI Osmo, but the quality is a lot better. It's also much easier to switch between lenses. The Osmo's display is so small, you're often kind of guessing if it's aimed right. The idle cam display is much better. The idle cam's build quality is quite acceptable, but I don't think it's quite as good as the DJI Osmo. But the video quality is better, which to me is more important. The idle cam also has a microphone jack. This is critical and will let me use it with my wireless Ceremonic lavalier microphone. The battery on the idle cam are also swappable. The Osmo are not. I thought the weight of the idle cam would be an issue on the selfie pole, but I walked all around for an hour without major risk soreness or anything. Just swap hands a few times. Overall, I would say if you are a vlogger shooting for an online channel, the idle cam just has better quality and a lot more professional features over the Osmo. If you are a casual user, just want to shoot some family video on the go, the Osmo is good enough and will fit easily in your pocket while the idle cam is a lot smaller than the full-size gimbal system I've been using it to replace, it's still something to put in a small bag. All of its features are aimed squarely at vloggers, and if you are just doing vacation videos, that's kind of overkill. But for me, it's perfect and I'll be using it a lot more. If you'd like to order one, the buy link is in the description. Remember, a lot of people don't see notifications for my videos, and YouTube doesn't like to stress them either. If you'd like to help, the best thing you can do to support this channel is to tell your friends about and repost my videos whenever you can. The more people that know about me, the more corporate sponsorship I can get, and the cooler the videos I can shoot for you. Your help is greatly appreciated. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.